I just realized how old I am. Ugh. Every time uh, I, I can say the sky is blue and Daryl over at uh, Libertarian Raccoon will have a good argument for it, right? He, will, he won't just say something stupid. He'll, he'll have a good argument for it. And he'll say, no, 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 the sky is not blue. It's actually green. But the refraction of the light on the ocean going up above makes the sky appear blue, right? I mean, that's the kind of stuff he comes up with. And he had a good point. He says, call me young, but I don't recall there ever being a comment section on news articles. Yes, before 2016, every major news network, they weren't really that powerful online yet. You got to remember, they were on television. That's why we had this whole um, surge of new personalities coming out on YouTube, giving us different opinions of the mainstream media brainwashing, right? And so, but I used to be on Quora, which was a comment forum for major news agencies like um, Vice, USA Today, um, Huffington Post, all had a comment section. So they'd write an article and the average person or average American could argue back and you could look through the comments and go, Wow, I never thought of it like this. This is intellectually stimulating. When they removed the comments, it was right around 2016. Isn't that convenient, right? So yes, before 2016, most all news publications had a comment section. And it, it, was, it was amazing. It, I learned a lot from it, right? I learned how to, um, how to argue back. I look back on some of my comments um, from eight, nine years ago, I sounded like a third grader. I sounded like a newbie um, um, uh, uh, leftist who's getting into politics, right? I sounded like a third grader. I'm just kidding. But you see what I mean? So the, now the news can put out articles. It is now propaganda, right? You can't argue back in a comment section and put your opinion in. They don't want your opinion. They want you to believe what they say as doctrine. Right? You, you, you no longer make up your own mind. You no longer filter through data to, to form your own opinion and think for yourself. You must believe racism, sexism. You must believe isms because that's all these articles are about. All of their isms and not free thought and opinion. I'm going to do a video on how elaborate Americans used to speak in the 50s. It's mind-blowing how much we've devolved. That's all for now.